In a 60 Minutes interview last night, President Trump took a step back from his prior claim that climate change is a hoax. But he told Leslie Stahl he does not want to spend a lot of money on efforts to reverse it. Mark Phillips traveled to the bottom of the world, flying with NASA's Operation Ice Bridge, the most extensive effort yet to measure changes in Antarctica's glaciers and ice sheets. Here he is with tonight's Climate Diaries. This is not just a joyride over some spectacular scenery. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. This is a low-level aerial sortie in a new kind of information war. NASA is here in Antarctica gathering ammunition, otherwise known as scientific data, in the battle over climate change. Basically, we need to know what's happening to, uh, to the climate, and specifically to sea level. John Sontag has been flying these missions since they started 10 years ago. So we already know that large parts of Antarctica have been thinning a whole lot in the last 20 years or so. And not only that, they're poised to thin at a faster rate in the future and raise sea level much, much faster than we are currently seeing. These flights are part of NASA's annual Antarctic campaign that flies out of Punta Arenas at the southern tip of Chile, using an old DC-8 jammed with the newest scientific instruments and the scientists to run them. They fly at just 1,500 feet using lasers, radar, photography, even gravity sensors to measure the volume and the mass of the ice. Instruments that tell scientists like Joe McGregor what is happening below. Greenland. Presently, the Antarctic ice sheet is uh, discharging more than two Olympic-sized swimming pools worth of uh, ice into the ocean every second. Every second. At that rate, it's now feared Antarctica alone could cause as much as six inches of sea level rise this century, making flooding in places like Miami or New Orleans or New York worse and much more frequent. Why is that happening? It may look cold down there, but the seas are warming. This expanse of icebergs and thin ice used to be a solid ice shelf holding back a glacier until warmer water broke it up. Then what happens is the, the cork is out of the bottle and the ice can accelerate for a while. So the, the melt rate increases. Uh, effectively, yes, overall. That glacier is now racing into the ocean at twice the speed. This plane is doing some of the hottest climate science on the planet in the coldest place on Earth. And the general conclusion after a decade is that what used to seem frozen and permanent is now fluid and changing. And changing fast. Mark Phillips, CBS News, over Antarctica.